I'm going to use Photo P to make an image like this using the liquify filter. And so I'm going to start from the beginning, recreating an image like this one. So going to Photo P, free photo editor online, go to that first one, and I'm going to open it from my computer. And I have two photos of myself, a straight on portrait of myself here. And I've opened that one up. This time, instead of opening another one, I need to go to File. And I want to open in place. So this is going to place it into the same document. And then we'll do kind of the three quarter view and open that. And you can see in my layers, I now have two layers with the two separate photographs. Um, I'm going to put this onto its own layer. I'm going to remove the background. And it does work best to use the object selection tool to remove the background. We'll wait for it to analyze the image and see what we got. If it doesn't highlight it in pink, you can always just click and drag out a selection around, including your object. And it struggled a little bit with some pieces, um, but we can combine some more parts to that selection. Uh, I'm going to use just the lasso tool for now. So holding down shift to make sure that I add to my selection. And my selection might be kind of rough since I'm going quickly for recording. So that added to there. And if I want to take away from it, I need to hold down Alt. And we probably want to zoom in and pay more attention to the details for an official image that I'm making. So circling around, holding down shift on my keyboard, adding to my selection. Oh, missed a little bit of hair. We'll zoom in there for this part. And using my lasso again, there is other ways of making selections. Any of them will work, but I'm just going to use my lasso and I'm holding down shift, clicking, dragging around the part that I want to add to my selection. There we go. I'm going to double click the hand to center things back up. Okay. I think we're ready now. Control J on my keyboard is going to take what's in the selection and put it on its own layer. So control J, we have it on its own layer. We can view that here. And we're going to do the same thing to the background, the straight on one. So we'll turn off the visibility, turn it on, on the background layer. We're going to try the old object selection tool again. Wait for the computer to catch up. And we're going to try click and drag. I missed a little bit of it down here. I wonder if that's going to affect it. We'll find out. Did not, <laughs> did not quite get that part. Okay. What if we try the magnetic lasso to add to it this time? Going to hold down shift on my keyboard, click and drag close to it. And it's not liking that. Okay. We'll try a different tool then. Or maybe the computer was just stalling, but we can use the old lasso tool. Holding shift to add to my selection. Hopefully the image that you use will be a little bit easier to select the subject from than mine, but every image is a little bit different. 
Okay, we added that part. Holding shift, clicking and dragging around this part. Now once you have your whole object or person selected, I'm going to zoom in a little bit. And this time with my lasso, holding Alt to get rid of that part. Okay. And we'll zoom back out. I think we got most of it. If it's not perfect for the video, it's okay. Um, we're going to do Control J on the keyboard. And we made our so what was in the selection on its own layer. And we can move it over to the side. And we'll get our other layer and we'll turn that back on. And we'll use our move tool to put it over here and something like that. I'm going to switch the order just because I think I want to have this one in front. OK, we got that selected. I'm going to make these black and white. So I'm going to head down to New Adjustment Layer. We're going to make it black and white. And there it goes. Looks good. Okay, now using the filter, let's make sure we're on the right layer first. I'm going to be on this layer first. So selecting the layer, heading up to filter, and we are going to use the liquify filter. And when I click on there, it brings open a new window. And right now my brush is pretty small. I'm going to use a pretty big brush. Something, something kind of like that. And I'm going to click and drag on my image. And it liquefies it. I want my mouth to go this direction too. And I want my eye to kind of look like it's stretching out too. <laughs> there we go. Stretch, just click and drag on it and let it stretch things out. So <laughs> it's kind of gross. Clicking and dragging. And OK, I'm going to say OK. And we're going to do the same process to the other one. You can see it's on top of that one. So, so now I'm going to go to the next layer which is the three-quarter view. And we're going to head back to Filter and Liquify. Here it is. Click and drag to stretch things out. I want my mouth to get distorted there. And I'm going to distort this eye also. And I want to drag it enough so that it's, hopefully it's totally underneath the other one. We'll find out. All right, there they are kind of mashed together. Another thing you can do is you can combine all these layers when you're ready. Under layer, we can go down to the bottom and we're going to flatten the image. And so it turned all of our layers into one layer. And now when I go back to filter and liquify, we'll be working on both at the same time. So trying to find a way for them to kind of blend together a little bit. I don't know if I like that move. <laughs> I'm going to control Z that. I'm going to undo that last one. Try to stretch these around and find a way what they'll, they'll look okay together. Sure, let's call that good. We're going to say OK on here. Here's what we got so far. And if you're ready, you can head up to File, and you can save. You could also export it as some different files.
file types when you're ready.